Am I the asshole for being naked while talking to my male friends? For context, I, 27 year old female, am usually naked in some way. I live alone, so no one is bothered. I work from home and have virtual meetings, which I tend to Winnie the Pooh shirt on ass out. <laughs> I don't have a, first of all, that's a, that's a why. <laughs> I tend to Winnie the Pooh. So I got my shirt on, ass out. I don't have a lot of windows and I keep my blinds closed. I just prefer naked or in my underwear if nobody's around. If nobody's around. I am part of a friend group of gamers and we often play video games online and chat on Discord. Mostly men. A few women. Often, I'm not fully dressed. Maybe like a bra or shirt, but rarely pants. It's not something I ever announce and I'm not weird about it. No one even has a clue, and I don't think anything of it. Okay, so far we good money. The other day, while on a Discord call with a group of friends, one of the girls, Jen, who I've be become online friends with but actually haven't met, video calls me to show me her new outfit. I reject the video but call her normally and say I can talk while she shows me. She asked why, and I explained that I wasn't fully dressed. To be honest, I was deep conditioning my hair and hopped on in a towel to pass the time. So I was actually totally naked and didn't want that on video. She started to go on about how it was weird that I talked to the boys while naked. I explained that I was in my home and they didn't know and it wasn't a big deal. Later in the week, one of the guys messaged me saying people had talked and they were uncomfortable with this. Apparently, Jen had told them all and also phrased it like it was some kink thing. It's not at all. I'm literally just in my own place. Have you seen rent prices? I'm not paying all that to have to wear pants at home. He said that some people want to tell my boyfriend, who knows and doesn't care, and that they might make it mandatory to be on video while playing games to avoid anything perverted happening. I think the video thing is creepier, to be honest. I told him they were all blowing it out of proportion and it wasn't a big deal, and I've never done anything inappropriate. They think I should apologize, but I refuse. First of all, your friends are the assholes. But the biggest asshole of all is Jen, who outed you for something that you weren't trying to express. You should never answer her call. Word. Second of all, if nobody sees you, you could look the... Like, you know how many people stream and the bottom half is not the way it's supposed to... Like, it seems. Word. You know how many... Like... You're on a phone call in your own house. See, the topic said, am I the asshole for being naked while talking to my male friends? And I thought, woo, she's wilding. She probably got niggas in a friend zone and, and, and she naked in front of them and telling them, why are you looking at my ass? But she's home by herself. Nobody could see her. And y'all talking to some, wait, who is this? Yo, these niggas is weird for calling you. They went out of their way to call you and say, it makes me feel uncomfortable to know that you're naked on the phone. Then stop calling me. Word. Listen, y'all can tell me in chat how y'all feel, but my opinion, she is not the asshole. I'm going to put that right there. Not the asshole. Your friends are weird as fuck. For going out they way to call you and tell you that they are uncomfortable for the fact that they can now imagine that you are naked. But the biggest a-hole of all is your, I'm putting quotation marks, friend, Jen. It wasn't her business to go gossip with every with the community. And they all are way too entitled to what you do in the comfort of your own home. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. That's how I feel. But. Y'all tell me in the comments how y'all feel. This is a nice and short one. Nice and sweet. Am I the asshole for eating in front of a friend who is trying to save money? I felt that on both ends. I've been on both sides. 
But I, I'm, I, I can't wait to read to see the context to see because, hey, hey, listen, <laughs> you still got to eat, but let, let's read and get the details. I, 31 female, went out with a friend, also a 31 female. So I went out with my homegirl who has been unemployed and struggling to find work for a few months. So why did she go out? But we'll, let's keep reading. She wanted to go for one happy hour drink because she's trying to save money. That's not the way to save money, to start going out in public to drink. First of all, drink at home. Just being outside is, is a temptation for spending money. Just being outside, like, th this world is expensive. You, you breathe too much air, you, you got a tax coming your way. So stay your ass at home. I had been running around all day and was starving when I met her. On top, my drink, I ordered a salad. She only had the drink and offered her some. She said no. Later, I got a text about how it was very rude to eat in front of her when she couldn't afford an entree. Was it? In my humble opinion, your friend is an asshole for putting you in a position that would make you have to starve yourself just because of them. You even, according to your post, obviously, offered her to either have some or whatever you get her some. She said, no, that's not your business. If she can't eat, she should have never went out. You supposed to starve just because she, as a matter of fact, she should be posting, am I the asshole for expecting my friends to starve because I'm broke? Listen, do better in life or lower your pride, be humble and accept the help of your friends or stay home. But you are not entitled on other people's actions. As long as they're not doing something to you specifically, you can't control what other people are doing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Not everybody's on the same path. Just like if you're on a diet, doesn't mean I got to be on a diet. Word. Not the asshole. I'm putting not the asshole. Not the asshole. Your friend should have stayed her broke ass home. Not gonna lie. We ruthless with it today. Not the asshole. Your friend should have stayed her broke ass at home. Am I the asshole for being mad about an unexpected visitor? I've just started a new job that's 12 hour shifts. Factory work, so really tiring. I did a night shift last night, finishing this morning. I only had a nap of around an hour because I have a day shift tomorrow, so I need to sleep well tonight. For context, I live with my sister but have to sleep on the sofa for the time being. It's also her birthday. She told everyone she just wanted to be alone for her birthday and that she didn't want to see anybody. So because I've been working like a maniac lately and only sleeping when I get home, I haven't been able to clean the house. My sister is extremely messy and never cleans. Around 9 p.m., one hour before I was set to go to bed, I have to be up at 5 a.m., she tells me that somebody is coming over and we need to clean the house. It's an absolute tip and I'm normally really on top of cleaning, but working back to back 12 hours, both day and night shifts and doing overtime, I haven't had the energy. My sister is unemployed and so she is home all day yet she doesn't clean. Anyway, I'm speed cleaning so that her guests can come over on only one hour of sleep, two hours before I have to go to bed. But also because I have to sleep on the sofa at the moment, I have to stay up because her and her guests are in the living room. So, on a day where I actually have time to just exist without stressing, aka cleaning or working, I'm still cleaning because she decided to announce she had a guest over in 30 minutes. Am I the asshole for being mad that she, one, didn't clean whilst I was doing all of these shifts, two, didn't tell her guest now wasn't a good time because I had to go to bed soon and I'm sleeping in the living room, three, didn't really help with the cleaning when guest was on their way, Four, took away my time to relax, so I had to clean because she had someone coming around. For extra context, I've just done five days and then come home, slept, and then repeat. The dishes and general cleaning hasn't been done for five days, and I had to get all of that done in 30 minutes. Mm. All right. So in my humble opinion, there's a lot of variables here. But first and foremost, I'll say, feelings shouldn't be invalidated. I don't think you can be an asshole for feeling something. Now, how you react to those feelings is what determines if you're an asshole or not. Like, if the post was, am I the asshole for slapping my sister because she pissed me off? Now, now we're talking about doing something that you probably shouldn't have done versus, am I the asshole for being hungry? That's just something that happens 
to you. Your body reacts to something. Am I the asshole for being sad? Whether you are or not, that doesn't change you being sad based off of certain stimuli. So no, you're not the asshole for being mad. Now, let's go into further detail about the actual situation. There's a lot of variables we don't know. Who's paying all the bills? You said she doesn't have a job and she or she works from home. Let me make sure. My sister's unemployed, so she's home all day. So clearly, unless you have trust fund babies, she doesn't pay anything. You pay the bills. You need to man up, even though it's your sister. And I have some older sisters and younger sisters, and I've been in a situation where I'm like, dang, I don't want to hurt their feelings or whatever the case may be. But at the same time, if you mad enough, you can't allow yourself to just constantly be in a situation where you're constantly getting pissed off. So I will personally say you need to man up and be like, hey, yo, word. No, you're not having friends over. Birthday or not, y'all going out, whatever the case may be. Boom, I need my sleep. Thirdly, you sleep on the couch and she has a room? Two things. First of all, if she ain't paying no bills, how she get the room? Unless it was already her place, that you moved into her place. And so that's why you sleep on the couch. But she's not working, so you're probably paying the bills. You should probably have some say so. But needless to say, the second thing is, boom, hey, you about to have people over. I know I'm not swapping with you and this is my room now, but at the same time, I need some sleep. So when your friend is over here, since I can't sleep in the living room, you're essentially sitting or being in my room, I'm going to be sleeping in your bed. You don't like it? Too bad. Either I'm sleeping on the bed or I'm sleeping on the couch and your friend's going to come over and be like, yo, why is this nigga on the couch? Word. So yeah, you're not the asshole for feeling how you're feeling. You're an asshole to yourself for not doing anything about it. Since like 3 a.m. I don't hear the hate. What y'all say ain't in. All I know is go. All I know is grind. I'm on your head. All I know is climb. Just know I'm different. If I see the target, just know I'm gonna hit it. I don't know the fake. Just know I live it. Anything I say, just know I'm in it. I know the ops and they lightweight. I'm in the zone and I might stay. Yeah, I'm on in the right way. Check the scoreboard. Look why I play. They say sky the limit. That's too low for us. We showing up in the nosebleeds of the galaxy. When you think it's great, look, it's actually me. Yeah, it's actually me.